So we're back with another table build this week. This time I'm gonna show you how to build a really simple two foot by two foot lunar table for your games of Luna. I started off by having Connor cut me a piece of scrap MDF. We only had some quarter inch on hand. I would recommend using something a little thicker, but it worked for me this time. Thinner MDF can warp once you apply a lot more uh, moisture and material to it. So that's just something to keep in mind. I grabbed some sculptor mold, some water, and the board, and I took it to the workshop. Started off by mixing up the sculptor mold. I mixed this thinner than I normally would, so I can spread it out a little easier. The more water you add, the longer it will take to dry, so just keep that in mind. I started by spreading out the material across the board and just trying to make it look natural. This is a lunar moonscape, so can also be helpful to reference photos and I didn't want any uh, hills to be too big. I wanted it to have some variation but still be flat enough that I could place terrain and miniatures on without it being too uneven. I ended up just using my hand for this step. Next I grabbed some lava rocks, uh, I got these on Amazon, I think you can just buy a big bag of them. I think they're also used for some reptile enclosures, things like that, so you may want to check at your local pet store. I just pushed these into the wet plaster. I did a couple of larger groupings and then I also did a couple of single rocks. Again, if, if you look at photos of the moon's surface you can kind of see how things are often distributed. This next step I grabbed a wooden dome that I had in my toolbox. I wetted it down with some water and then I used that to go through and make a bunch of craters. I used a dome shape just so I could kind of cheat a little bit. You could also use any kind of sculpting tool or putty knife. I think it would probably give you a, a similar effect. I just find that a dome helps create a more natural appearance. I made a few craters that are larger than the others and I ended up just smoothing them out around the edges. The moon surface is quite covered in small craters so I kind of wanted to replicate that with this table. After that was done, I put it under the fan to dry. I gave it a base coat of some Rust-Oleum Black Grey Primer. Ended up using two cans just to get the job done a little quicker. I gave it a fairly even coat, tried to leave some of the black of the lava rock sticking through. At this stage, you honestly could stop. I think it looks perfectly usable, but I wanted to go a step further and add some additional texture and effects to this. So I started by spraying the entire board down with some glue and water. And then I got some sanded grout in, I think it's platinum gray color and went around and sprinkled that more or less across the entire table. The lunar regolith is quite interesting when you observe how it looks in photos and how it behaves. And I kind of wanted to try and replicate that as closely as I could. I'll probably end up using this board for playtesting and demos uh, and also some photography. So I really wanted to spend a little bit of extra time and give it that extra layer of realism. I used a small brush to sort of distribute some of the grout around the rocks and make it look a little bit more settled, a little bit more natural. I also went around and used the brush to clear out some of the craters and allow some of the under texture with the plaster to show through. I also made sure to crush any of the little balls of grout. 
that form as well. This step, I sprayed the entire board down with some glue, water and soap mixture, making sure to get a lot of glue in those areas where I have piled the grout up a little higher. Once that's dry, I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of highlighting just to kind of make some of the, uh, the craters and some of the uneven areas pop a little bit. So I got some Vallejo white primer and I just went around some of the crater surfaces and sort of just gave them a bit of a highlight. Again, this is just to sort of help things pop a little bit. You're essentially looking at what is a gray tile. So any way that you can add a bit of color variation while still keeping it realistic is always a good thing. And that's it. That's literally all you need to do to make a super simple table for playing your games of Luna. Thanks for watching again, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, drop a comment down below on what you want to see me do next.